speaker for the night is Pam Rocker. Pam is the Affirming and Creative Coordinator at Hillhurst United Church. She is an award-winning writer, poet, musician, activist, and is super gay. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Pam Rocker. Actually, I just came up here to ask Ayla to marry me because she's amazing. Oh! Okay, let's go for it. Transparency. That word is terrifying to me. It evokes an emotion right away. What will I be asked to share? More importantly, what do I need to hide? But it can, it can also inspire a feeling of courage, an invitation to crack open and finally take the advice of all those Brene Brown videos we've been watching <laughs> and be vulnerable. When I was asked to participate tonight, I was elated and I wondered what story to tell. The stories I thought of, as meaningful as they are, have been told in some form before. I wanted to take the challenge and go farther. But the only thing on my mind was my recent breakup with my partner of two and a half years. That's not glittery or inspiring. It's a drag. And it's too personal anyway. Surely they meant transparency as a concept, not as a real life diary event. You're an activist, a musician, you do comedy, do something funny. You're super gay, do something gay. <laughs> but it came back again and again, because that's where my life is right now. And I realized something I've been so angry about. So instead of sharing one big glorious thing, I want to share one small gritty thing that you may not know. As a gay person, when I end a relationship, as confident as I may be, a part of me is so embarrassed. Because the validity and legality of our relationships have long been subjects of debate, and still are. Our very existence is controversial, and whether we deserve to have a chance at intimacy is a question in many minds, not to mention the countless who actively fight to deny us those rights. People have died for my right to love who I want to love without being killed or imprisoned, a right still absent in 76 countries. So a meaningful and lasting relationship can feel like the ultimate fuck you to people who don't want it to flourish. It flies in the face of my parents telling me they'll never come to my wedding. It carries a societal significance because I'm claiming something that so many people have, but don't want me to have. Along with that comes a subconscious expectation that it must succeed forever to prove that I deserve it. I was telling a friend about this and he said, well, we fought for the right to get married, but also for the right to get divorced. <laughs> and that's true. I get it. Logically, I know that dissolutions of relationships have nothing to do with my value or my rights. And I'm certainly not failing at being gay because have you seen my hair? <laughs> but then I think about the hundreds of people I've met with over the years through my work. People struggling with their sexual or gender identity and how their journey to be themselves is often sabotaged by their family, friends, workplaces, religious communities, and politicians. By the time people even get to the point of coming out, many have experienced so much resistance and have lost so much. This is not to say that we're fragile. Queer people are some of the strongest that I know. But the unique obstacles we have to overcome on a daily basis can't help but impact every area of our lives. If you knew that people would rejoice in your being alone forever, or tell you that's the only option you have anyway, that may change how you feel about sharing your relationship struggles. So yeah, when my relationships end, I do feel like a failure even if I ended them. Because I want to be an example, a source of hope that says, you do deserve love. 
You've been told it won't happen. You've been told you can't have it, that it isn't real or sacred, but it is. I want that hope for others and for myself, even though I know in my heart I don't have to prove anything. And I decided to share this because this is what I never share. If you can't relate with any of this, I'm happy for you, honestly. I hope this gives you a little more understanding and empathy for some of the people in your life. You can be a part of the change we need. If you can relate, know you're not alone. It's fucked up that huge chunks of society are not rooting for you, but I am. And maybe if we keep sharing our stories, we'll realize how much value there is and the resilience and courage that is inside us, regardless of our relationship status. Author Andrew Solomon, who is openly gay, said, all of us with stigmatized identities face this question daily. How much to accommodate society by constraining ourselves and how much to break the limits of what constitutes a valid life. There's always somebody who wants to confiscate our humanity and there are always stories that restore it. If we live out loud, we can trounce the hatred and expand everyone's lives. Thank you for letting me share my story with you tonight and expand a little part of myself and perhaps jettison some of the undeserved shame I have. And um, ladies, I'm not usually single for long, so. 